Hey guys, Bing here. Um, previously we have this, uh, we modeled these two cavity sliding door. So this this multi-panel one can be open and closed. So today I'm going to show you two methods to have this door um, have different options. So can be closed, open, or half open. Okay, so let's start edit this family. So first, so this is a panel, door panel. So what we need to do is go to floor plan. Give a visibility parameter. So let's create close. And uh, I'll just, this instance, OK and OK. And then, CC copy one, and I'll just um, I'll just temporary hide this one H H. So now the second one will be uh, half close. So I'll align the door panel to this reference plane. So lock, and also I'll align this to the center reference plane. So it's this one. Okay, so the lock. Um, I'll have a look up the elevation. So, so which one? So this one. Move up. So it's uh, probably not this one. Hang on. So this is closed. This is the one we just copied. So it looks like it's already uh, along to the level. So that's fine. So go back to the floor plan. So we have the second uh, half closed. Go here because we copied this from the, the previous one. So we need to change this. Create another half closed instance. Um, OK. And OK. And then copy another one. So I'll temporarily hide this one. HH. -H. So do it again. So depending on um, maybe I'll just leave a little bit there. So because I already have that um, reference plan, so I'll just lock the door panel onto this one instead of along to the frame. So then long, long, and uh, I'll check in the elevation. So this one, yep, yeah, it's locked. It's locked on level, so which is good. So now. Select this door panel. Make sure it's a door panel, not the uh, symbolic line family. So, and then just click on this one again, and then create a close, close or uh, open. Sorry, and uh, instance. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So now we have three different uh, visibility and um, parameter. So now we can load this. Let's have a test. So what we can do is just so we have three options. So closed. Yeah. Half closed. Open. OK, so this is the first method. So you can also have these one because these ones instance instance parameter. So you can you need to tick manually tick on and off to uh, have these three options. But uh, if you you can also do do them in a type parameter, and then you need to edit type to create new type. But I'm now I'm going to show you another method. Um, okay, so I'll I'll. Okay, I'll just control Z, go back to previous. Okay, so this is the family we uh so before we before we add the instance parameters. So now I'm going to show you another method. So edit family. So instead instead of um, doing the work in here, I'm, uh, and we need to 
edit this door panel family. Okay, so edit family. And uh, in here, create reference plan, plans. So because I need one panel here, one panel here, and one panel here. So let's just dimension it. And then this will be the same as that width. width. And uh, so this is closed. Uh, this is mid, uh, a half, half open, half closed. And then if 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 you lo like to have some offset, um, so we can just do the same. Just have uh, 100 offset there. Just lock that. So now we have one. One door panel, two door panel, three. Oh, actually, we don't need this one, so I'll just delete them. So, so this one's fine. So this one, I'll create a uh, parameter visibility parameter. So let's call it closed. This time, I'll use type parameter and OK. And then I need the second one. I'll copy. Um, Copy. Oh, sorry. We do need those reference plan because I'll, I'm going to uh, edit execution and then lock onto those parameter. Without them, I can't. Okay. Uh, reference plan. Bring them back. So just um, void width and also these equal equal. And also for this offset, I'm going to have another one there. So also 100. Yep, good. So now the second panel, I need to edit execution, align, lock, 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 and lock. And OK. So just go to elevation. Uh, Let's check. Yep. So we need to uh, align the lock. So okay. Now go to floor plan. So this is visibility and uh, close. Okay, temporary high H. So this will be the half open one. So go here and. Uh, create a new so let's say half closed and the type parameter and OK OK and we need another one okay so and copy one from there so edit execution align lock align and lock align and lock and uh, this one to here so and then the same, do the same, go to elevation, so drag that, lock, drag, and lock. So now we have three panel. Okay, uh, sorry, I don't forget the visibility parameter. So this one, let's call it closed, or oh, sorry, opened, and the toy parameter, and OK, and OK. So now, what we need to do is go to fam family types. So currently we don't have any types. So create type one, closed, and OK. And here, uncheck, uncheck. So only have that closed and OK. Oh, sorry. We need more. Edit family, uh, fam family types. Click this. So create another one. Half closed. And OK, and uh, half close, yeah. And uh, click this, create another one, uh, open, and OK, and uncheck, and check. And now we have three different uh, type, and OK. And now we can load this uh, door panel family. Go uh, load this into the door family, and OK, override. Okay, so 
now let's have a look so click on this one and uh, here click on the door panel and then that's label click on the drop down add parameter so let's call it door panel and uh, instance and uh, let's place it in maybe in construction and okay and uh, let's say edit let me type c okay so we have one two three four five we also have the door symbolic line because that um, because this is a door and because the symbolic line is also a door family when we um, build what we can do is we go let's find see this is a door sim, a symbolic line family just edit this family and change the change the type change the family category to maybe generic model low back so it will, and then let's go back to the door panel so so it won't show in here because only the door top category will show here but we still have a family 16 what's that so if we go to family on the door family 16 uh, let's let, let me just name it door panel and uh, drop down so that's that's this one so what we need to do is let me just select that one and change this to change this to any of these before I delete the family 16 uh, what's, what's that okay I'll just leave it and then I can delete this this type and uh, what's this again uh, about delete type of family and one family will be delete door panel hmm yeah. so this is door panel closed Anyway, I'll delete this one. Okay, still there. Good. So, um, um, what's next? So yeah, uh, don't forget, don't forget to link these thickness with and height. And okay. And then uh, looks like I need to do it again. Anyway, door panel construction instance. Okay. So now it's good. So um, let me check. Yep. So it's only one, two, three, three option. Let's have a test in the project. So, so now this is the, um, the drop down menu. You can choose. You can choose. So one is closed. And if I change to half close, open. Okay, good. Let me try to change the size. See if it works or not. Okay. Okay. Looks like the size is not matching. So let's let let's have a look. Close, close is fine. Half close, it's not. So just go back to family. So this is closed, which we have already linked the parameters. Okay, so just change it to half. Okay, see this one. Just change back to now. So what we we probably need to do it at last but after we uh, link all the parameters so now i'm just going to edit type and link all the parameter for three different for all three different um, type so thickness and uh, width and uh, height okay so change that back to open edit type 
thickness, width, height, and uh, okay. So now we can just you yeah, link that that parameter. So now this now we load this back into the project, and then we can so we have this option so you can simply instead of have three um, option check check uh, yeah tick on tick off so you just need you just pick this okay so yeah that's it that's it for today and uh, tomorrow uh we will, we will, uh, I'm going to show you another method to do this. Okay. Thank you. See you next time.